South Sweepstakes is back for its 17th year. This year's grand prize package includes prizes from Hardee's, Marriott, and Pepsi. Hit to BigSouthSports.com slash sweepstakes to enter. The deadline to register is February 28th. Seven and a half minutes to go in this one. High point by four against Hampton, and we've been treated to a fun first half so far, Kelly. Yeah, it's been a great pace of this game, and, you know, not necessarily in High Point's favor, although they are the team on top right now. High Point, of course, likes to take a little more deliberate game. They like to slow it down a bit, but Hampton loves that run and gun, and, and, and I think we're playing to Hampton's pace, but High Point has definitely not suffered because of it. Three different Panthers players have seven points apiece. Brandon Kamga, Jihad Proctor, Tim Cameron, while the usual two suspects for Hampton, Merrow with 15, Fisher with eight, combining for 23 of Hampton's 30. And here's Merrow at work again, drawing a foul. You know, you wonder at some point if fouls are going to be a factor in this game as every single time Merrow drives to the basket, he draws a lot of attention and, and Picking up fouls could be an issue for High Point. Marrow is so critical to this team's offense. Missed scoop shot by Fisher, the second component of that. And Coach Joyner, talking to him earlier today, mentioned that Fisher and Marrow, it was a learning curve for them to figure out how to work together and mesh. Curtis Holland learning how to mesh at the collegiate level in his freshman campaign hits a three, but I thought it was a great point. He talked about Fisher would be our best player without Marrow, but sometimes you have that much talent on the floor. It's not just about what you can do. It's what can you do to make others better as well. Yeah, and I think that's the difficulty sometimes coming into college basketball is you're used to being the star performer and you've got to figure out how to play this team brand of basketball. And, and I think probably it took Fisher a little bit more time uh, to figure out his role and to, and to find his place. But what I loved, Coach Joyner said that he is the best defender on the floor every single night and he will always take the toughest assignment. And that's why you see him on Proctor right now. And Kalen Fisher has that in his bloodlines. His brother is Javon Carter, who was two-time National Defensive Player of the Year during his time at West Virginia. Brandon Kamga makes his fourth shot of the game to give him nine points, but Javon Carter in that quote-unquote press Virginia yes. as they branded <laughs> their style of basketball during that time. And that's the brother of Kalen Fisher. I, I thought Buck Joyner had a wonderful point on that as well. He said sometimes we rip up the defensive game plan. This is going to be an offensive foul on Carver. He said sometimes we have to rip up the defensive game plan, but in a good way because Fisher could do so much. Sometimes we come in thinking we're going to do something, and <laughs> Fisher just steps up, and he's our guy. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> such an asset to this team, and it makes me so curious. Like, what was going on in that home? How in the world are these kids such yeah. great defenders? Like, was their dad some, like, you know, linebacker or something, you know, just taught <laughs> the defensive principles, and uh, I, th that's a lot of fun to watch. I love a great team, and, and in particular, a great player that, that loves defense. Coach Joyner wrapped up that entire discussion with one of my favorite quotes I think I've heard. Proctor misses off the window, and then a jump ball is going to be called on the rebound. It will stay with the Panthers. But when he was talking about ripping up the game plan, and it was okay because Fisher does so many things well, it ends up working. He said, quote, if you're going to break the play, make the play. <laughs> If I had known that growing up, speaking of growing up and childhood experiences, if I had known that, hey, it's okay. I broke it, but I'm going to make something better out of it. It's okay. It's okay. But it changed oh. everything. <laughs> Who knows where I would be right now? <laughs> but I'll remember it moving forward. I know that much. If you're going to break the play, make, make the play. play. <laughs> awesome. Cam lobs it into Proctor from the baseline. High Point has extended its lead with five straight scored during a drought of Hampton. The Pirates have not scored in more than two minutes, so High Point leading by nine. Fisher called for his first foul. It's also team foul number six on Hampton, so High Point next foul will be in the bonus. There's so much continuity on this offense right now, and a lot of different players getting involved already. Nine players for both Hampton and High Point in on this game, and people coming off the bench ready to play. Madison, tough catch underneath, gets it back out to Whitehead. Ten to shoot. Proctor gains a step, misses the runner, and a loose ball foul is going to go against the Panthers. 
on Ricky Madison, his first. Ricky Madison, his first. Team's third. Madison, second in the conference in rebounds. We mentioned the offensive rebounding for him. Anytime you're top 20 in the nation in an individual statistic, I think of all the players across the entire country, Power 5 schools and everything else, you're doing something right. And, and Ricky Madison has emerged as one of those players, again, even though he's listed at 6'7", he does all the things right. And right on cue, yeah. he pulls down another one. Yeah, you know, and, and in the men's basketball world, 6'7 is not all that huge. And I and I imagine if he might even be more like a 6'6, six, six, his white head gets going inside. But uh, sometimes rebounding is just desire. And how about high point? Wow. Nice what a hit. play. Let's see if it turns into points. It doesn't. Cam can't make the three, but it certainly had a lot of fans on their feet right there. And Hampton trying to stop the bleeding for the moment can't do so three-pointer missed by Griffin it's now a 7-0 run for the Panthers make it 9-0 as Madison beats the defense down the floor that forces a timeout from Hampton and what a pass by Proctor to Madison I actually thought he was gonna miss that ball it was so hard and deliberate but a great job look at it right there right on the money able to put that one in on the backside 9-0 run put together by the Panthers in the last three and a half minutes. High point leads by 13. 